O Alpha and Omega, in the great central sun, Om, O Thou Holy One of God, Beloved Lord Krishna, Lord Sanat Kumara, Beloved Holy Ones of God, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, O Thou Word in the beginning, with Brahman, beloved El Moria, beloved Kuthumi, beloved Dwalku, spirit of the great white brotherhood, let thy light intensify upon us, as the power of the holy breath, the holy spirit, Maha Chohan, be upon us. Let our chakras be engaged with the chakras of the great central sun. Let the infinite power, wisdom, and love of God now be the matrix for the balancing of our threefold flame. O great solar rings of the central sun, of seraphim of God, seal us in the mighty tube of light. Seal us by the power of the corona of the sun. Seal the light, purge us of darkness. Take us to the heart of the Divine Mother. By thy sacred breath, O God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, we call to the heart of Saraswati, Lakshmi, Durga, the great Kali. Let the Divine One instill in us the balance of the great Tao. Unto Helios and Vesta, we commend our souls and our spirits. Amen. Take our new decree 4009. This is all you will need. Turn to the last page and let us sing to beloved Dwal Kul. We will give the preamble and then sing. Together. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me my very own beloved holy christ self holy christ cells of all mankind beloved dwal cool beloved lanello the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood and the world mother elemental life fire air water and earth i decree
Welcome, Ascended Master Dwal Kool. 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 This decree and song to Dwal Kool is what we use to anchor his meditation on the 12 lines of the clock for our victory. It is a wondrous sealing when you have worked and worked hard for the dealing with the dweller and the negatives of the planet to come into this powerful affirmation. Let us turn to the beginning of 4009. I would like to have the screen down and if you will show the chakras during the giving of I am light from the base to the crown in that order. Please see your chakras aligned with the chakras of Dwal Kul and see the light glowing from the seven chakras and the secret chamber of the heart together. I am light, glowing light, radiating light, intensified light. God consumes my darkness, transmuting it into light. This day I am a focus of the central sun. Flowing through me is a crystal river, a living fountain of light that can never be qualified by human thought and feeling. I am an outpost of the divine, such darkness as has used me is swallowed up by the mighty river of light which I am. I am, I am, I am light. I live, I live, I live in light. I am light's fullest in. I am light's purest intention. I am light, 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 flooding the world everywhere I move. Blessing, strengthening, and conveying the purpose of the kingdom of heaven. I am light, glowing light, radiating light, intensified light. God consumes my darkness, transmuting it into light. This day I am the focus of the central sun. Flowing through me is a crystal river, a living fountain of light that can never be qualified by human thought and feeling. I am an outpost of the divine. Such darkness as has used me is swallowed up by the mighty river of light which I am. I am, I am, I am light. I live, I live, I live in light. I am light's fullest dimension. I am light's purest intention. I am light, 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 flooding the world everywhere I move. Blessing, strengthening, and conveying the purpose of the kingdom of heaven. I am light, glowing light, radiating light, intensified light. God consumes my darkness, transmuting it into light. This day I am a focus of the central sun. Flowing through me is a crystal river, a living fountain of light that can never be qualified by human thought and feeling. I am an outpost of the divine. Such darkness as has used me is swallowed up by the mighty river of light which I am. I am, I am, I am light. I live, I live, I live in light. I am light's fullest dimension. I am light's purest intention. I am light, 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 flooding the world everywhere I move, blessing, strengthening, and conveying the purpose of the kingdom of heaven. I'm going to read to you the instructions in 4009, and you can follow them, and we will do them as we come to them. I'd like to have on the screen now the figure with the chakras in the white figure eight. First, place yourself in a meditative posture, sitting in a comfortable chair before your altar, the physical focus of your worship. At this time, remember that your feet are flat on the floor and your hands are not touching each other. Set aside a chair, if possible, that is used only during your meditations and invocations. You should consecrate this chair by the momentum of your heart flame as a focus of the atomic accelerator that is used by the ascended masters in the cave of symbols. Chilas who have passed certain initiations are bidden to sit in the atomic accelerator, 
to have the atoms and molecules of the four lower bodies stepped up by the currents of the ascension flame in preparation for the ritual of the return, the alchemical marriage that is the soul's reunion with the spirit. I would like you to know that I take very seriously this concept of consecrating a chair to the atomic accelerator because I have burned in my memory the day when at the Dodge House Hotel in Washington, D.C., during a conference, one of the ascended masters came and a chair was set before the altar at his request. And during the period of so many hours, this chair had the electronic force field of the atomic accelerator. Is there anyone here today that was present for that conference? Me. <laughs> Someone over there, you were there. Moorcroft. So we took turns during the break and during the day sitting on this seat. And the person sitting on it would not move until the person who had come up to take his place was right there ready to sit down so we wouldn't waste a bit of energy of the atomic accelerator. And so there were a number of dictations that occurred from that hour to the hour of Mark Prophet's ascension that marked a step up in his body. Another dictation that was given spoke about the ascension flame beginning to penetrate and come up his legs. And as I marked these dictations and the days went by from 1961 to 1973, I saw the dispensations unfold. And so if you have a chair that only you or those in your family who are devotees sit in, that is only used for meditation or prayer or decrees at your altar and is consecrated to the Ascended Masters, this perhaps may one day be for you a chair that an Ascended Master will use with a particular charge of energy, whether it is from the atomic accelerator or simply a dispensation that you have earned by your constancy in service. So when you have things that are consecrated, then they may be used. If you don't consecrate things such as altars and what you have on your altar, then you don't have something consecrated when an angel or a master passes through your home and would like to place an energy or a flame or a blessing somewhere. So when we are prepared and prepare the chalice, so we may receive. And of course, that is true of our individual temples, our four lower bodies and our chakras. So the altar in your home is respected by every angel and cosmic being and ascended master. They make their rounds through the earth and they touch these altars and bless them. So as long as you hallow that altar and keep it holy, and keep it in a place that is consecrated for worship, you will know the visitation of the Ascended Masters. The next instruction is to place your feet flat on the floor, your hands cupped in your lap, your head erect, eyes level, chin drawn in for the disciplined flow of the energies of the heart through the throat chakra. You may do any mudra you like with your hands. Touching the thumb to the index thing finger is a comfortable way to sit and establishes the return of energy and the guarding within you. For the purposes of breathing exercises and the pranayam, which is to come today, remember that the spine must be erect and the neck must be as erect as possible with the spine. So you don't want this kind of a posture where you're leaning forward. You want your head back and the chin tucked in so that there is a straightness and a discipline to your body and to your mind, and an easy flow of the sacred energies from the base to the crown. Eyes level, chin drawn in for the disciplined flow of the energies. This means if you're going to do this, you will have to hold your decrees up. The call to the fire breath, the invocation of the goddess of purity given to the devotees of the Holy Spirit should now be recited three times. Give it slowly, rhythmically, with feeling, 
Absorb each word and each concept with a conviction held in heart and mind that you are here and now a joint heir with Christ. And as the beloved son, the beloved daughter, you are claiming your inheritance. Yours is an inheritance of the sacred fire that issues forth from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega, who keep the flame of the Father, Mother, God in the great central sun. This is a very precious decree. It is a powerful affirmation. Together with my tube of light and calls for protection, I gave this decree each day when I sat down at my desk in the tower of La Tourelle in Colorado Springs. I gave this decree daily for years, and I watched how the momentum grew and how, almost before I would open my mouth to say the words, the light and the momentum and the matrix of the decree of the causal body of the Goddess of Purity would descend. We all need the Goddess of Purity's love and tremendous purity for the work that we do. We want our work to be pure and the thoughts that go into it, the motives, the plan, and so forth. The Goddess of Purity works with the Queen of Light and the Goddess of Light in a tremendous triangle. Remember to call to these great goddesses, these great beings of light, and think of them in their white purity as you look upon the Easter lilies. So now we are going to give this with tremendous devotion and power three times. Together. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept in expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved I am presence, seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept in expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved I am present, seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept in expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved I am presence, seal me now in the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept in expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved, I am present, seal me now within the very expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God. We stay, I am the immaculate concept and expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved, I am present, seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept and expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved, I am present, seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I accept this done right now with full power. I am this done right now with full power. I am, I am, I am God life expressing perfection always at all times. This which I call forth for myself, I call forth for every man, woman, and child on this planet.
the immaculate concept, the fiery blueprint according to which your soul was created in the image of the Divine One is now impressed upon your four lower bodies. This fiery blueprint is magnetized by the coil described earlier in this lesson, which you now bring to the fore of consciousness as the pivot of your call to the fire breath, the fullness of the joy which you claim is the fullness of the expression of divine love. I would like us to show the coil, the coil of fire as it is shown in Dwal Kul's book on the screen. See this coil around you. Now visualize the buoyant energies of love being magnetized by this coil and by the energies of the heart, which from our previous exercises you hold in mind as the focus of the interlaced triangles superimposed with the name of God. It is essential that you hang above your altar the chart of the presence, where possible your eye level when you are standing should be at the eye level of the lower figure in the chart so that the Christ Self and the I Am Presence are above you. Therefore, in all of your meditations and invocations, you should imagine through the imaging of the eye that all energy released through the chakras comes forth from the I Am Presence through the Christ Self, descending over the crystal cord into the heart chakra, thence throughout the four lower bodies. Establish in mind, then, the concept of a perpetual flow from the heart of the individualized God-Self to the heart of the Christ-Self to your own threefold flame, pulsating in the rhythm of God's heartbeat. The sealing of your aura within the very heart of the expanding fire-breath of God is accomplished by your I Am Presence through the Christ-Self in answer to your call. Remember, it is God in you who is the decreer, the decree, and the fullness of the decree. Visualize your aura as an ovoid of white light, extending beneath your feet, beneath the coil, above your head, and above the coil. See the aura increasing in the intensity of the light as that energy is expanded from the heart chakra and thence from all of the chakras as the sacred mist that is called the fire breath of God let its purity, wholeness, and love fill the ovoid of your aura and feel your mind and heart disciplining that energy and holding it in the creative tension of your cosmic awareness. Conclude the giving of the call three times with the acceptance. Now you are ready for the exercise of the integration of the eighth ray. You can put the reading aside because I will read it to you and conduct you in this exercise. When I tell you to do so, you're going to draw in through your nostrils, both nostrils, the sacred breath. The breath is made sacred by your giving of the I Am Light Decree and the call to the fire breath. You have already called forth the sacred breath and therefore, with your visualizations, you should accept it. I'm going to give you the count of eight beats. If you are doing this alone, you could count by the tapping of your foot. The breath is drawn in through the nostrils. As you breathe in, push your abdominal muscles out, letting the air completely fill your lungs. Try filling your lungs and pushing your abdominal muscles out. Now, you are as full of air as you can be filled. You can breathe out any time, and you can continue to practice doing this while I'm reading it to you. Let your lungs be inflated like a balloon. See the air that you draw in as the pure white light. What is going into your nostrils as the pure white light, the fire breath. It is the sacred breath of God. After you have taken in the air to the count of eight beats, you will hold it. And while you are holding it to the count of eight beats, you will visualize it penetrating your physical form as the essence of the Holy Spirit. This is a tremendous balancing and healing exercise. 
The essence of the Holy Spirit nourishes, stabilizes, and balances the interchange of energy in the physical atoms, molecules, and cells. This is why it is wonderful to do this where you have wonderful fresh air. You visualize this sacred energy flowing through your veins, moving through your nervous system, anchoring the essence of the balancing energies of the Holy Spirit in your four lower bodies, and absorbing from them all impurities which you now see being flushed out of your system as you exhale to the count of eight beats. Let the exhalation be deliberate and disciplined as you slowly release the air as though it were a substance being pressed out of a tube. You may round your lips to increase the tension of the exhalation. Imagine that breath being pushed out from the very pit of the stomach as the abdominal muscles contract. You may lean forward if this helps to press out the last bit of air remaining in the lungs. Why don't you now take that deep breath and then practice pressing it out. Now let your head resume an erect posture and hold without in-breathing or out-breathing to the final count of eight beats. So it is very simple. You are going around the clock. In the first quadrant, the etheric quadrant, you are breathing in the fire breath of God through the fire body. In the second quadrant, the mental body, you are holding that breath and using your mind to direct it throughout your entire four lower bodies, especially the physical body. You see it absorbing all of the impurities, just as you see the cloud, the cloud of infinite energy that Saint Germain has taught you to create in his alchemy part two, intermediate studies in alchemy. And so the quality of the sacred fire breath even as it is the quality of the descending crystal fire mist in this conference, is the tremendous absorptive quality that it has. It absorbs all toxins, records. It can even absorb the records of psychology, of ancient substances of past lives. This is why the regular use of the fire breath of God, the call to the goddess of purity, is such an adjunct to all of the other things that you may be doing for right diet, right healing, and bringing yourself into attunement with God. So as you hold this, the mental body, and you know that the mental body is occupied by the Holy Christ Self, and you can mentally call to the Holy Christ Self to press this sacred fire, this fire breath of God, into every cell and atom, demagnetizing it, balancing it, sustaining it, creating that equilibrium. Then you come to the third quadrant. That is your exhalation. And with that exhalation is the exhalation of all that you want to pour into that sacred fire breath, all inordinate desire. Since you know that inordinate desire is held in the astral body and in the subconscious, this breathing out is sweeping through this breath in a cleansing motion through the physical, the astral, and the physical body. The mental, the astral, and the physical body. So the last holding pattern is on the physical body for the sealing of the action. Repeat this exercise daily as you are physically able until you have established a rhythm, mentally counting if you wish, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and, and so forth. When you do the one and two and, you are, you are almost doubling the count to 16. So I'm going to give you a different count from this one. Be careful that in your zeal you do not overdo. Each one must in Christ discern his capacity, which may be anywhere from 1 to 12 repetitions of the exercise per daily session. If you think of yourself as clearing the lines of the clock and the chakras of the clock, you can begin with the quadrants. You can give three a day and clear the etheric quadrant, then the next, the next, and the next. 
This fourfold exercise is for the balancing of the four lower bodies. The in-breath comes through the etheric body. The first hole in an, is an action of energizing through the mental body. The out-breath is the release through the emotional body. And the final hold is for the anchoring in the physical form of the balanced action of Father, Son, Mother, and Holy Spirit. When you have mastered the in-breathing, holding, out-breathing, and holding, in this fashion, and the accompanying visualization of the sacred fire releasing light, energizing the consciousness, extracting impurities, and finally anchoring the energies of the Christ, then and only then you may add to your exercise affirming, I am Alpha and Omega. The syllables of this fiat are eight in number. You can count them on your hand or on your toes if you like. I am Alpha and Omega. You can count them to the tapping of the foot. I am Alpha and Omega. I'm going to say that instead of counting so that you can, you can breathe to that count. So since I cannot do this exercise with you and count also, I'm going to be counting and you are going to be doing this. Try to put as many of the points made in this instruction together, but don't worry if you don't have them all in mind all at once. The important thing is to fill the body with the breath and exercise the abdominal cavity, the abdominal muscles, so that you literally contain air to the very pit of the abdomen, which you breathe in and then press out. So the way we're going to begin is everyone is going to press out so that when we are all pressed out, I can start counting for your in-breath. So please expel. Ready. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe out. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe in. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe out. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe in. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe out. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe in. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Breathe out. I am Alpha and Omega. Hold. I am Alpha and Omega. Relax. How many of you can feel the light entering your temple when you do this? A certain charge of light around the head, around the aura. So concerning the Alpha and Omega to the count of eight beats, this you mentally affirm once for each of the four steps of the exercise. This affirmation is for the establishment within you of the cloven tongues of fire, the twin flames of the Holy Spirit that are the energies of the Father, Mother, God. By thus invoking these energies and using the breath as the means to convey that energy to the four lower bodies and to anchor it in the physical form, you will be building the balanced action of the caduceus, the intertwining of the alpha and omega spirals along the spine that are for the ultimate victory of the masculine and feminine polarity that raises the energies of the chakras, merges in the heart as the Christ, and flowers in the crown as the buddhic enlightenment of the thousand petal lotus. I place my electronic presence with each one as the guardian action of the sacred fire. I am the guard during the period of your meditation on the fire breath and your exercise of integration through the eighth ray. I am certain that you will want to reread Dwal Kul's intermediate studies 
in the human aura if you have not already done so in preparation for this conference. This teaching is in the eighth chapter and there are wonderful meditations and keys in all of the chapters of the book. I would like to ask you to give now Dwal Kul's decree, which we just sang at the last page of this instruction. Together. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me, my very own beloved, holy Christ self, holy Christ cells of all mankind, beloved Dwal Kul, beloved Lanello, the entire spirit of white brotherhood and the world mother, Elemental life, fire, air, water, and earth, I decree. Dwal cool, come in the center of the one. Anchor now thy radiant sun, magnet of the threefold flame. Expand God's aura in God's name. Dwal cool, come, threefold fountain, fill my heart. Let thy angel now impart the name of God. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am, I am that I am. Dwal cool come, flame of gold, pink, blue, and white. Seal thy victory, star of light. Renew my vows to God's own name. Come, O Christ, in me now reign. Dwal cool come, expand the fire of the sun. Alpha and Omega, make us one. Seal my energies in Christ. Raise my energies in light. Dwal cool come, align my consciousness with thee. Make us one, O oh, make me free. Seal my heart and hand in thine. In God's mind I am divine. Dwal cool come, blaze the action of the whole. With light of victory fill my soul. Return me to the flaming one. I am begotten of the sun. I am God power, I am God love. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am God mastery and God control, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am God obedience now, to thy law I vow. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. God wisdom flame I am, God wisdom flame I am, God wisdom flame I am. God gratitude, God gratitude, God gratitude. I am God justice in full view. I am God justice in full view. I am God justice in full view. I am God vision, God victory won. I am God vision, God victory won. I am God vision, God victory won. Let's, this time we're going to do the breathing exercise again three times. I'm simply going to say the words and you will know to breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold. 
Breathe in, hold. Breathe out, hold. Exhale. Ready, begin. I am Alpha and Omega. 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 Remember, you, you are always breathing in through the nostrils. Now I'm going to tap the beat and give the ex exercise with you. Exhale. So the rhythm of the tapping or the saying of the mantra is up to your capacity in the in-breath, the hold, and the out-breath, and the hold. This is the basic teaching and the basic understanding. The rest of it simply comes with practice and doing this so automatically that you can enter into deep meditation while doing it and great visualization. It's a kind of an exercise that you can do during the portions of the creation of the cloud where I am giving prayers and invocations and where you are not joining in. It's the kind of breathing exercise that you can do if you are singing a song in the court and you decide for three rounds you wish to do Dwal Kul's exercise while meditating on the words and sending tremendous devotion to God. So there are moments in the day when you can do this, and when you have it in your pocket, under your belt, and it's easy to do, you can even do it while you're doing aerobic walking, or just plain walking, uh, walking to the rhythm of your own count. So there are many opportunities to celebrate the fire breath of God. And I assure you, as you take it, and know that Dwal Kul has his electronic presence over you, is the guard of the action, as you love the I am light decree of Kathumi and love Kathumi as the source as you love the goddess of purities call to the sacred fire breath and send love to her you have a tremendous interchange that is going on this is something that it doesn't take any more time to do if you do it while you are already doing other things the things you are already other already doing become a means 
to use this. This is often why I like to walk alone, so that I can do my breathing exercises and uh, feel my sense of oneness with the cosmos, with the sun, with the earth, with all life. It is wonderful to come to a point in the day when you don't have to answer questions or ask questions or in any way be in that human mode of conversation. This purifies all the chakras and it lays the foundation for the pranayam. It's a very important foundation. I think some of us have not given this regularly over the years since Dwal Kul dictated his book to me. I think that had we done so, we would be much more prepared today for the pranayam exercise. Nevertheless, the hour has come to give that exercise, and Dwal Kul is here to give it. So I would like to turn the service over to him now and to his dictation. While we are preparing for that, I would like us to give a decree so that if you need to come and go into and out of your seats briefly, you can do so. We will take violet flame decrees led by our decree leaders for this very brief intermission. <laughs> 